Hello. I am the Reverend Susan Frederick Gray. I'm the pastor of the Unitarian Universalist Congregation of Phoenix. I participated in the nonviolent actions of civil disobedience on July 29th for three reasons. Number one, when, un when unjust laws are passed in our states, it's the obligation of people of conscience to stand up and resist those laws. Number two, laws that terrorize children and families are immoral. As a mother, I know that this is wrong. And number three, legislation that creates second-class citizenship for any American, which is exactly what SB 1070 does, is at its root wrong and immoral. Let me tell you more about each of those three reasons. Number one, there is a long history in this country that when injustice is happening, when wrongdoing is happening, when people's rights are being denied, people of conscience, good people, stand up for justice and for the rights of those who are being harmed. Number two, this legislation, SB 1070, terrorizes children. It terrorizes families. When a high school valedictorian who has a dream of being an engineer and a US citizen, when we make her a criminal, we are the ones who are wrong. When a parent who has lived here for decades, who's married to a citizen, whose children are citizens, fears going to the grocery store to buy milk, that she will not see her children again, we are the ones that are wrong. SB 1070 is immoral and it is wrong. And finally, on the third point, SB 1070 creates second-class citizenship for people of color in the state of Arizona. This is a violation of our most fundamental principles as Americans in the United States that all men are created equal. SB 1070 writes racial profiling into law. What we experienced in the jail once we were arrested was being treated differently based on the color of our skin and our accents. That is wrong and it is a crime. That is why I took my action. Didn't we have this battle in the 1950s and 1960s that all people, regardless of their skin color, shall be treated equally? I do not want to see Arizona be taken back in history, and that is why I stood up.